So now that I have a dog, it's kind of opened up a whole other side of yes style for me. And now I can shop in a whole new category. So you know what I did? I picked up a bunch of stuff from YesStyle that's dog related, wanted to see what they were like, and yeah, so I'm just gonna do like a little haul. Without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So <laughs> naturally when I was like shopping on YesStyle, I kind of just like picked up a bunch of random stuff cause I don't know, sometimes on YesStyle, I'm just like, what is that? I just kind of have to get it in my hands and see what it is. I don't mind being the guinea pig sometimes. So I guess I'll go ahead and start off with some of the dog toys that I picked up and I'll be completely honest. My dog is probably not the market for a lot of dogs related stuff on YesStyle just because I think it's mostly catered to like smaller dogs and if you guys have seen my dogs or follow his Instagram, uh, he's a big boy. And he is getting close to about 40 pounds, if not a little over 40 pounds. And he's only like five months old. So he's going to be quite the big dog. So some of these toys that I picked up, I think I'm actually gonna end up giving these to my parents' puppy. They just got a puppy named Neo because these are more like smaller dogs or puppy toys. And I think he would just tear these up in two seconds. So the first toy that I got was this little guy here. This is like a little rattle giraffe. And it has a little squeaker in it. Um, he will probably like tear this up in two seconds because I'm not gonna lie, most of these toys are not designed for like heavy chewers and Buddy's definitely like getting his teeth in so you know, toys don't last very long but that's what that looks like in case you guys were curious. I also picked him this one which he really likes these kinds of toys, like the longer toys and he can just like sit and chew on them. Um, but again, like the materials, a little bit of like softer materials. So either if you're gonna get toys from YesStyle, definitely shop for a puppy or shop for like a smaller like dog or toy dog, something like that. Um, I also got him this little fish toy. Now this out of all of them um, is probably one of the more durable ones because it is like a mesh material if you could see and he loves these like little toys because we play fetch with them we just throw them and he runs and goes crazy over them so this might actually work for buddy then i got this guy here which this is another toy that actually probably work for buddy because it has like this rope around it which adds a little bit of strength to the toy itself and again it's got a little squeaker in it so it's kind of cute, just a little disc we could throw for him. And this toy, he kind of already tore apart, I'm not gonna lie. I just thought it was so cute, which is why I picked this one up. It's like a little eggplant plushie, but honestly, this is probably just too small for him. So I think I'm just gonna save it for my parents' puppy and give it to them. But as you can see, he already tore into this and he had only had it for a couple minutes. So definitely not the most durable toys if you're gonna look at Yes Style. Now I guess let's go over some of the grooming stuff because I actually feel like I found some decent deals on Yes Style compared to some of the stuff I was seeing on Amazon or other pet websites. The first couple things that I got were some brushes. Now I know this seems a bit excessive, but Buddy is going to have a longer coat and I'm trying to get him used to brushing now. I wanted to test out a couple different types of dog brushes because like I said, he's just gonna have a lot of hair to handle. So the first thing that I got was this brush, which is kind of shaped like an L. And essentially this is like a de-shedding brush, I guess. He's first, like he still has like half puppy fur and like starting to get some of his adult fur in. So this isn't quite, he's not quite old enough to use something like this yet. I saw something like this on Amazon for like 15 bucks and this was a lot cheaper on YesStyle. The little comb is actually removable and then you can push it back in, which I don't know the point of that, but it just takes out a lot of that excess hair. So I got him this one. Next I got him one of these brushes. I actually had a brush like this for my cat Lucky and I really liked it because you can push this up and it basically pushes all the hair. You can see I've used it on him. <laughs> just makes it easier to throw away. And I got this one too because it has like little balls, at, <laughs> balls at the end of the bristles. So it's not so rough on him. Like I said, he doesn't have like a full coat in, so I don't wanna just be like scratching his skin yet. The last brush that I got or grooming tool is this guy here. Now this is like a dematifying brush, I believe. It basically kind of like hooks under and you can get like the undercoat and you know, all the different layers of the coat and also like I said, get mats out and detangles. So I don't have a use for this quite yet. Cause like I said, he still has a lot of puppy fur, which is just, you know, like soft, 
fluffy fur, but I want to have this on hand when he starts to get more adult fur in because like I said, it's coming in quick. I saw something like this on Amazon for like, you know, 15, 20 bucks, a lot more than I spent on YesStyle. So I'd be curious if this is comparable. I don't know, for me I'm like, what could the main differences be? It seems like it essentially would be the same thing. We'll find out. Like I said, Buddy's gonna require a lot of grooming on my part. I got these because <laughs> we actually use a lot of wipes around because we have to wipe his little bum. <laughs> I just wanna make sure he's clean and so we use pet wipes. These ones are fragrance free and you get 70 of them. I actually haven't used these yet so I'm not quite sure how they're going to work for him. That's what it looks like, I don't know. There's nothing much to them, but like I said, I just use these, so I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and try the ones from YesStyle. I have been like trying to find a pack of those at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods for the longest time, and every single time I find one for some reason, they're always opened or damaged, and I'm like, Ugh. of course the time I'm looking for them, I can't find any. This is one of those like gloves you put on, and it has like the textured silicone, so I guess as you like, rub it over your dog's fur, it picks up a lot of the excess hair. I'm not gonna lie, Buddy can't stand the sensation of this and I don't blame him. I think to him it probably is like nails on a chalkboard and it wasn't that effective. Like my parents have one of these too and I don't know, they, they just don't seem to work for like certain types of hair, if that makes sense, or certain types of fur. Like Buddy has definitely like thicker, like straight strands of hair and this seems to like pick up more of like the wispy, cobwebby type of hair. So he might just not have the right hair for this, but he didn't like it anyway, so I felt bad like doing it to him if he was like, I can't stand this mom. So a couple um, like items that I picked up, I picked up, I'm gonna have to take this bell off because it's already driving me nuts. I picked up this like leash harness collar set. This was so cheap on YesStyle. I really couldn't believe it. And this is like the cutest little material Ever. It's like denim and it's like a solid like you know this is gonna be perfect for him once he gets a little bit bigger it's still a little bit large for him at the moment but I just thought this was you know such a good deal it was super cute since I like the denim and I feel like blue is his color and like I said I came with a leash and a harness so we're probably gonna have to swap out the leash that he's currently using soon I'm trying to like use up the leash he's using now because since he is, you know, like a puppy and teething and just all over the place, he's actually chewed through part of his leash. So once that gets to a point where it's unusable, I will switch to this. But like I said, I just wanna have one on hand. And yes, I actually had a ton of these types of sets where they had like the collar, the harness, and the leash all in one that were super affordable and a bunch of different designs. So if you're ever looking and you're willing to wait for the shipping, Kind of worth it. Okay, this I couldn't help myself. You guys are gonna think I'm nuts, but I just thought this was <laughs> too cute. I got him this like little bandana. And again, I just think blue is Buddy's color. And I just think this would be adorable for sending pictures of him to our family. And you can actually, I guess, go for walks with this because it has like the little leash attachment. But I just thought that was so cute. So I picked that up as well. I got him one of like puppy socks. These, depending on how much these stretch, um, <laughs> These probably aren't gonna fit him, maybe they will, I don't know. And the reason that I got him little socks or like in my mind is because like I said, he is super sensitive, like his skin is just, we're working with his vet to try and figure out how to make him more comfortable, but he's just constantly itchy and we're trying to figure out whether it's allergies or if it's his food, like the protein in his food, we're trying to like switch him over to a different kind currently, or if it's just, you know, something we, we we're trying like different types of shampoos and different types of sprays and all kinds of stuff, conditioners for him to try and make him more comfortable. But he's always so itchy. And one of the places he's really itchy are his little feet. So he'll like chew at his feet and I can see they're getting red and irritated. So I wanted to get him a pair of socks because I'll leave this, at least something like this will like buffer, you know, a little bit of the irritation. But I, these might be a little too small. And again, any of the stuff that's too small for him, I'll just give to my parents for their puppy. But yeah, I just thought, I thought those were so cute. He actually could probably just wear a pair of my socks. I was looking at Buddy's feet and I was like, dude, his feet are like my size. <laughs> Dish items, I guess, for him. The first thing that I got is one of these. Now, I've seen a lot of people use these types of things, which are like little feeder, slow feeder bowls. We have to give Buddy his food in something where he can't have access to it right away because 
problem with Buddy is he eats so fast, he'll like aspirate some of his food, so he'll go like huh, and like cough up like kibble that he hadn't chewed, he just gets too excited. And so we either put his food in like a slow feeder ball, but just on days where maybe I don't wanna do that, I just thought it would be nice to have something like this. I don't know, I feel like this is like a staple to have. You know, if you have a, a dog or a puppy that just eats too quickly, I have this little water bottle for him to drink out of. Now, I do have one of these um, for his leash, so when I take him on walks, I always have water. This would just be nice to have, like I said, in the car. And the nice thing about this is, is it has like, you know, it's solid, so it's not gonna get crushed. You can kind of just throw it in your car. And it has a little button here that releases the water into the cup, and then they just drink from there. And then it has like a little wristband if you do decide to use this as something that you're going to take on walks with you. I prefer the one that I have for walks, which I showed in my puppy's essentials haul, because it's somewhat collapsible and just easier. But this one, I again, I liked it because it was that harder material, so it won't get ruined in my car kind of rolling around. So speaking of water, I also got him this. Now I was kind of confused on what this was, and I actually think this might come in handy because Buddy is a messy drinker. So what this is, and you guys will have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is also like a slow feeder but for water. So not only will it kind of make sure that your dog doesn't drink a ton of water too fast and like, you know, throw it back up, but it also keeps their muzzle from getting like drenched in the water. So for sloppy drinkers, it kind of controls some of the water and the splash because basically what this little insert does is it kind of floats on the water. So they have to kind of push it down a little bit with their tongue and nose to get um, to the water. I mean, it's not like that difficult, obviously, just like a tiny bit of pressure would push it down. But I want to try this out, so we're going to give this a go. I'm really excited to see if this works, because if it does, this definitely fixes a, a little problem that we have. Last but not least, these aren't really like dog items, but I got them like because of my dog. So whenever I go on walks with Buddy, I always bring like kibble or treats with us. I bring my phone, I bring just like my house keys, masks, things like that that I need while I'm on a walk. And so I just wanted to get like a couple like little compact bags for that purpose that I could just keep by the door, grab it and go. So I picked this one up, which has a bunch of like little pockets and I kind of like that it's more, I don't know, just plain black little bag that, you know, this looks very, I don't know, doggy, I feel like, as weird as that sounds. So this one has a bunch of little pockets, like I can put his like kibble really easily in one and just keep it in there. My phone, like all of my important stuff can go in here. It's got like a pocket in here too. It's actually like very nice. So I thought I could get some more like athletic, more kind of like neutral bags. So I could wear this as I'm walking my dog. And then I also got another one to have variety. This one has like a little planet on it and it's like one of those like side bags that everyone's like super into that like sit kind of almost like in your armpit or like on your back. Just put kibble in and my stuff in so the kibble doesn't like get to my stuff. So I got those two bags for walking purposes. And we just currently started taking him to his puppy classes which has been really fun but we do use like kibble and stuff in class so now I can have like my own like treat bag which is what I'm going to be using these as. The nice thing about those is that if I decide to not use them as treat bags they're still cute so I can use them as like normal bags. <laughs> So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to do a quick little haul of some of the pet related items that I picked up from YesStyle. I'll go ahead and link everything down below that I showed in this video in case you're curious about the products themselves or you want to pick them up. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!